So, yep, we missed an episode what? last week. Listen. Okay, listen. Hey, listen. This, this time of year is our favorite time of year. Yeah. Basically, September and October are Halloween. It's the warm up for Jesus' like, birthday. Every single, every single day is Halloween. Mm-hmm. And then Halloween is like Halloween orgasm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh-huh. I don't, what do you call it? Like, is that is that what fall is? It's just the Halloween, <laughs> the orgasm. Halloween orgasm. The great Halloween orgasm. And then, and then November and December is Christmas, but yeah. it's also my birthday. So mm-hmm. we do a lot in the, yeah. the end of the year. Like the I'll... last the last four months of the year are just like, let's do everything. Yeah. Also, in my defense, there's something in your hair. Audience, can you see the thing in my ear? <laughs> Do you want to pick it out? It's a lot. What is it? I don't want to touch it. Okay. I don't know what it is. Um, so, also, in my defense, uh, as I figure out what's in my hair, um, the, 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 new, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! set came out, you know, last Friday, and I, was, I spent an entire week... I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I definitely couldn't record a podcast. I was just waiting for it. I was like, Darkwing Blast, baby. So, you know, it's, to be fair, I was debilitated by the the big Halloween orgasm and (laughs) you. What a, what a, what a treat. What a trick. (laughs) What? There are like... I mean, not even going to lie, looking at your desk right now. What we're not way? in the closet today. Yeah. How we're do gonna, we sound? We're going to see how the audio sounds because we did not want to sit in the closet and be hot. Nope. So we're not. Nope. Um, but yeah, looking at your desk, there are like, I mean, no exaggeration, over a thousand cards. What? Okay, look. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No, I'm just I saying don't. like there are over a thousand cards sitting over there. There's like, a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. And what are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about a movie called... Wow. It, it has, okay, it has multiple English translations. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, but I lost... Oh, that that's a that's a pie crust recipe. Um, oh, hold geez. on. The Is Ghost it... Cat and the Mysterious Shamisen. Well, you have like 69 tabs open at, at, at every moment of every day. I so. think I passed 100 because now it just has a little colon D face where the, it has the number of tabs. Where? Up here. Oh, it's just happy. Yeah. It's just so happy. If you have more than 100 tabs open on Chrome, it does that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. We're talking about the Ghost Cat and the Mysterious Shamisen. Also... I saw somebody calling it the Ghost Cat's Mysterious Shamisen, so that's why I was like, okay, hold on. Oh, I see. So, but anyway, I think commonly it is called the Ghost Cat and the Mysterious Shamisen. Uh, tell us more about Which, the Ghost Cat and the Mysterious Shamisen. It is, it is a 1938 film uh, directed by Kiyohiko Ushihara. Um, it is, so 1938, it's an early sound film uh still black and white of course but it's oh boy it's got it's got some sounds we're we'll we'll get into that Mm -hmm. um but so uh it it's not necessarily like a super duper well-known film i also found this on the list of japanese horror films that included such classics as alien versus ninja (laughs) and the thing that i'm not gonna say the name of that we're gonna be talking about next time it was a very diverse list let's put it that way yeah it was basically like every japanese horror movie ever made yes <laughs> like that this person could find yeah um so as as it is prior to uh 1956 this film is in the public domain because japanese films released before 1956 are uh you can find this on youtube subtitled for free we right can just now link it in the um, description oh i was gonna say i'm gonna link it okay so if you want to watch it go do that it's only like 70 something minutes it's good yeah. it's it's great um but so ushihara the director mm. uh is actually a little interesting of, of a dude okay. I, I found out through some research so uh he was born in 1897 and in 1920 so when he was 22 or 23 uh, depending on the time of the year, 
he started working at Shochiku, the giant uh, film studio, one of the giant film studios at the time. And um, he was mostly known for, during the silent era, directing like contemporary drama movies. Okay. But in the mid-1920s, uh, he briefly moved to Hollywood to work under Charlie Chaplin to like Whoa. learn uh to be a better filmmaker, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and then, um, so th this this is actually kind of a later movie for him, uh, 1938, because after World War II, he quit filmmaking entirely from what I could find, uh, which, okay, it's not entirely, like, they say he quit filmmaking, but then, like, he has a credit from 1949, so take that as you will. Okay. Anyway, he quit after World War II and instead became a... Uh, a teacher at a university you need a teacher <laughs> oh, <God>. sorry <laughs> it's fine uh a teacher at a school for filmmaking uh, oh well it was at nihon university so i think it was i think it's just a broad university but oh he was okay teaching filmmaking okay i don't know if there were film schools yet in the 40s and 50s that's a good question if you know in the comments below, let us know with a flower emoji. Okay. And then the answer to that question. <laughs> also, no, I appreciate your interjections because I know it's very dry when I just kind of talk forever. I love when you talk forever. I, well, I appreciate that. But, this but not, is not everyone's me. This is not an ASMR podcast. <laughs> if, you, if anyone wants ASMR with some goo my goofy ass voice, <laughs> drop a lips emoji. <laughs> In the, uh, I almost said chat. In do the, the do the eye lip eye emoji because that's one of my favorites. Yes. <laughs> so after that, though, I can't really find that much information about him. Um, but it seems it it seems like this was actually kind of uh, like a a weird project for him because mostly he was doing dramas based this, in the twenties and thirties. This was like almost like the opposite, like the opposite direction of. Uh, was it Kurosawa who did Sweet Home? Oh my gosh. Yes. I was like, who was it? Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. Ku but Kurosawa was like, I didn't fucking do that movie. Yes. Don't, like, so like, I, like, not that I'm not saying that he's like disparaging of his own film. I have of no course, idea. But it's like kind of like this like weird like outlier, basically. That's what it seems like, which we admittedly we have not seen any of his other movies and people online could be misrepresenting his filmography. Yeah. And just saying, like, oh, he's most well-known for this. And it's, like, he has one drama that's really well-known. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It yeah. could be like that, to be fair. That's fair. Okay, okay, yeah. So the other thing that you might be interested to know about this uh, movie is that, uh, and this is, this is a world premiere announcement for not just you listeners, but also for Kylie, uh, I've decided that next october it is ghost cat month uh because this is an entire genre oh uh they are called uh kaibyo films and uh kaibyo means strange cat they're also sometimes known as bakeneko mono what story is about like demon cats yeah um but apparently it's a fairly old uh type of story where it's just like and then there was a cat, and the cat was creepy, and crazy stuff happened. <laughs> and so when uh, film started, essentially, uh, it was a fairly popular genre yeah. in, in the early days. And from, from what I was finding in my research, it kind of fell off after World War II. Um, and the quote that I found, let me see if I can find it again really oh, quick. Oh, jeez, pull up the tabs. Um uh, can I find it? Can I find it? So, basically, what what I'm what I'm getting to? Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> its popularity declined after the war, arguably because Japanese audiences no longer believed in or feared such entities. <laughs> it's like, yep, World War Two happened, and then nobody believed in ghost cats anymore. Like, <laughs> it's like that's how it works. That's, I mean, that's such a like. <laughs> <laughs> unempathetic way of look like no definitely in the 30s these people thought like they all believed there were ghost there cats. were ghost cats everywhere like so anyway um for a couple of decades after world war ii it seems like they fell out of popularity but then in like the 60s onward which you know 
like on this channel we've covered a ton of horror movies from like the 70s onward yeah so around that time when like i guess japanese horror movies kind of started they, they started getting more like international attention at the very least mm -hmm. um ghost cat movies came back yeah because so i was thinking a bunch of them we did that one oh what was it there was like all those people with the tattoo oh um which when was it from was it from like the 70s yeah it was like that era it was like um, maybe lady snowblood or was it horrors of malformed men no uh, gosh i can't remember we've oh blind woman's curse yeah that's yes, the one with yes. the cat in it yeah that's the one yeah yep, that's yep. so like that yeah. that like kind of plays into exactly. that like some people even consider because like yes the the main thing is that there's a witch uh but there is also a sort of demon cat in house so some people oh, yeah. even see house as a derivative yeah of i could see that the kaibyo i mean genre. like literally most of the like um media representation of mm -hmm. the, what is that the, the marketing yeah for that movie is about is about the cat, the cat. Yeah. so it makes sense so so basically all i'm saying is we're gonna find because there are some uh, obviously like a lot of pre-world war ii movies um from japan a lot of the ghost cat movies from that period uh no longer exist um because they were destroyed That's during so world sad. war ii i know this is like I mean, the whole fact that World War II happened is sad. Like, don't get I me mean, wrong. Yeah. But, but no, I, I agree that it's just, like, this early art form. And then because the film at the time was so combustible. Yeah. It's just, like, oops, oops. here goes history. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. So, what well, all I'm saying is there are still a decent amount from before World War II and a good number from after. So, next October... It's all ghost cats. Ghost cat month. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but with regard to the ghost cat and the mysterious shamisen, what did you think of this of this film? Now I, that we've gotten all the background. I really like this. Yeah. I thought it was fun. I did too. I also like, okay, I don't have much of a tension span anymore. I mean. You damn kids with your TikToks. Yeah, and your... yeah. <laughs> blame, blame whatever you want to blame. Okay. But like, I really have a hard time like focusing uh -huh. on like i like i can't play like i used to love like jrpgs oh yeah i can't play them anymore because they take forever yeah. it's, it's like it's just, i just i just don't care anymore yeah yeah um there are probably lots of layers to that sure. but i really like the fact that this movie was shorter mm -hmm. so it was just like just a quick little romp just a quick little romp in in old Japan, mm -hmm. what if we what if we took a quick romp in old Japan and kissed under the shamisen tree? <laughs> is that is that where they come from? Yeah, they gr that... they grow on oh. trees, obviously. Oh yeah, okay. No, it, this was really cool though. I thought it was um, I don't know, like I just, I I like old movies. Like <laughs> if it's black and white, I'm like I'm there. Yeah. So yeah, well, and, okay, something something that I specifically wanted to mention because i said earlier like this movie's got it's got some sounds in it yeah tell me about the sounds. okay so obviously because it is so old the audio quality is not good like compared with obviously our nearly 100 years later like we're recording this on a 50 dollars microphone it might sound like crap to you but compared with the top of the line microphone from 1938. Oh. I almost said 83. Honestly, <laughs> compared with the top of the line microphone from 1983. You know. I mean, I've never had a single person complain about the quality of this mic. Right. And I have well over a million views on my channel. That's true. Wow. Like, humble brag. <laughs> I feel like it's. It, no. It's a couple million, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But I've not had a single person ever complain about the yeah. quality. So. But I'm just saying. Suffice to say. This. The dialogue in this movie is extremely muddled. And if you were, like, if I were able to fluently speak Japanese, I would still be like, I need to turn the subtitles yeah, on. Yeah, I felt the same exact way. Like, I, well, when it, when it first came on, that was one of the very first things that I noticed about right. it. That I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Even if I spoke Japanese. Right. Like, I, I couldn't understand this. Because that's the thing. I actually, like, and it's, I, I know, fake fan, I don't know enough about film history to know when the boom mic was invented, but this is definitely, like, 
if I can make a really crass analogy, like YouTuber using a uh, camera with just using the onboard microphone. Yes. And recording from like 10 feet away. Yeah. I, but that's no, what it sounded like, that, like. No, it is like, I mean, you can tell. Yeah, you can yeah. tell when like there's not a secondary mic in play right. while recording is happening. Absolutely. Which, of course, again, I want to reiterate, like... I think 1936 was when the first sound movie came out. So this is like literally the third year of sound film. Like, <laughs> They're just it's, getting it figured out. It's okay. It's just a little guy at this point. But the reason that our context is important is because the reason I said uh, this movie's got some sounds in it is, holy shit, the ending of this movie is great. Like, I don't want to spoil anything. Obviously, it's free. It's like 73 minutes. Go watch it. There's no reason not to. But the amount of like tension in the last like 10 minutes or so yeah that's built through sound specifically yeah man. i was like you guys figured this out like immediately well okay like yeah like that's like it's so weird to think about so like okay three years prior to that obviously sound wasn't in movies right but like they had to be able to create that kind of tension with just visuals right but now they had this opportunity to like take this thing that they had cra- like you know really crafted into some kind of masterpiece Mm -hmm. you know into a a a skill the visual side the visual side and now oh well we now we can do the thing that we've been wanting to do the whole time that we've basically been trying to emulate for the past what 40 years like yeah like like yeah i think in feature length film like 20 yeah or so but yeah but but yeah, yeah definitely so like it's okay now we're gonna take all of this ability that we have to build up the scenes the way that we've been trying to do just with visuals exactly but now we can add the audio i mean that's like it's like okay i don't know if you've ever done this where you 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 take something and you change the audio Mm -hmm. that is playing while you're watching it so like you take a scene yeah like this like epic scene from like you know the the latest blockbuster you know mm-hmm. it's like bombastic and like whatever but then you change that you just remove all the audio yes and then you put on like i don't know the the meme dog the burr, 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 that yes, yes you do that it completely changes the oh, tone absolutely so they really it's like they nailed it yeah. you know yeah I, okay tangent um, because I don't have a whole lot about this movie to say other than it's great and you should watch it. Uh, so I'm going to pad this out. But so <laughs> years, years ago, this was probably like 2005, 2006. I'd have to look up when the movie came out. But I remember um, Apple uh, Trailers, I think it was called, was like the place pre... It must have been like 2005 because it was like pre-YouTube. This was the place that you went to watch uh, trailers not in the theater. And my brother is, like, super obsessed with film. He was, like, on that, you know, while we had dial-up. He was <laughs> like, yo, I gotta watch, you know, the the new trailer for, I don't know, what, whatever, whatever was coming out at the time. Shrek. And I distinctly... <laughs> Shrek was earlier. Yeah, Shrek was earlier than that. Was it? The fourth, obviously, the best Shrek. <laughs> the the um, isekai Shrek. Um, <laughs> so, uh, somebody, though accidentally uploaded onto uh apple trailers uh, or whatever it was called the trailer for the comedy film uh i think it was called first sunday and it's like a cat williams um oh god i can't even remember the other guy's name who's in it but it's this comedy about a church with wacky hijinks Mm -hmm. or something they accidentally uploaded it without the soundtrack so all the sound effects and all the dialogue were in there. Oh, geez. But there was no music. So they didn't. people didn't realize it was a comedy. So, well, people did exactly what you're talking about. And they started putting, like, really epic, like, uh, like Sigur Ross and, and, and t- stuff like that. Oh, God. As the music. Yeah. Because all they had to do was put a music layer under it and uh-huh. re-upload it. Yeah. Onto, like, um, something awful or, or, you know, places like that. And he, I just remember he showed me so many that were just, because all they did was change the music. Yeah. It made it, it completely changed it. But that's, that's what I'm yes. getting at. Yes. Like, and that's why that scene is, like... That's for ten minutes. Yeah. Of, I mean, it's it's a a, a seventh of the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, where you're just like, 
literally on the edge of your seat. Like, what is going on? Yeah. Like, uh, is it gonna do, do it? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, what? Like, yeah, that was, it was, I, yeah, it was very yeah. tense. And it's like, you think of that kind of tension when you think of horror movies now. Right. Like, exactly. But it's, it gives you that tension mm-hmm. without the, like, scary. Well, and it's so, it's so, like, pure because it's before anyone figured out, like, the jump scare. Oh, my gosh. So yeah. it's just building tension. It's just, and it's just constant and constant and constant. Yes. And it's just go, 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 go. And it's just, you're just like, oh, my gosh, like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. What is going on? You know, like, it's, exactly. it's almost like, it's almost like the same feeling of like secondhand embarrassment. Kind of. Because you're like. You know what might happen. Yeah. But you you don't know if it's going to happen, but you know what might happen. And one of the characters in the scene doesn't. Yeah. And so, and so it's time, just like, yeah. what the yeah. heck? Like, yeah, it, it was so good. It was so, it, it, I don't remember what that's called. I know it's like dramatic irony when mm-hmm. the audience knows something that the characters right. don't, but it was more, it was more than that. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, yeah, it, the whole time I was just like almost holding my breath, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. Um and I think it's just really impressive to see a movie from so early in the sound era pulling that off like so effectively. Mm-hmm. I realize uh we're probably winding down at this point. I realize we never talked about what this movie is about. Oops. So Well, I mean, okay. I mean, it's I mean, I feel like the title mm-hmm. in in and of itself gives a lot away. Yeah. But basically there's which I actually was something that I like struggled with while watching this movie is like I didn't understand the like power dynamics at play. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, like I kind of did. Right. Like I, I felt like I didn't know when it was taking place. Okay. So I knew that like her father. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Like back up, back up, back up, back yeah, up. Yeah. Back. Okay. It's the late 1800s. It's the late 1800s. It okay. Yeah. And there's a... Or no, I'm sorry. Early 1800s is when it was happening. There's a shamisen player. Yes. Um, he's like the best in the he's, he's land. The, the best in the land. Yeah. There's the lady who wants to get in his pants. Yep. Who also is getting around to other people's pants. Right. And she's um, like the best actress in the land. Yeah. And there's the pure, innocent, beautiful samurai daughter. Who... The shamisen player actually likes. Who the shamisen player actually likes. Yes. And did you see that? Yeah, I think there was a bug. It was a bug. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a, oh, it's a stink bug. It's a stink bug. <sighs> the stink bugs this year. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> and there's a stink bug. <laughs> okay. So the the samurai's daughter. Yes. Um, and the shamisen player are like, ooh, let's let's kiss, mm-hmm. you know. And then the the other lady's like, nah. So. I don't remember what happens. <laughs> so there's also there's also a cat involved that well, like basically everybody the, universally agrees like oh this cat's cute. Yeah, the, but the cat is like basically the shamisen players. Yeah, yeah. See, okay, this is why I got confused. The shamisen player, like, was he just like rich because he was the best in the land? I think so. I think okay. It, I think it was. He's basically the like. They because they have multiple shamisen players at every play at which he performs, and he's basically the lead. The lead because he's yeah. so good. Okay, but I was confused because there was this whole like debacle about how he's like we can't possibly be lovers because because she's the daughter of a samurai, right. and so like he's like in terms of class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's an entertainer, so like even though he's at the top of his class and he's like super fucking rich cuz right. he has this massive house and like a maid and he's like he's still not he's not like good he's, enough she's out of his league so that's yeah. why i was confused yeah. yeah yeah okay okay but now that i understand it was like the whole samurai time i'm right. like oh right. okay yeah, yeah. cuz like that's when samurai were like i that word again i i know i know is it no you're you're venerated good. oh yeah uh yeah venerated yes okay I don't remember what I said the other day. <laughs> I don't even know. It might have been veneered. <laughs> Something like that. Lacquered. But anyway. Lacquered. But anyway. So that's where I got confused. But right. now now we've cleared that up. Yeah. But yeah, the, the cat is... So they is, also have a cat. The cat is the Shamisen players. And the, and he went missing. The cat goes... Yeah. But then he's found again. Yep. Because the samurai's daughter finds him. Yep. And that's how they kind of like... Like connect. Connect. Yes. And get and like get together and yes. like start forming this thing. Right. But he's like, no, we can't be together. Right. And then, and then that's where really like the story 
like takes, takes off sort of like takes off yeah, yeah. so i don't want to say more right right basically the suffice to say the 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 lead actress the one who's like probably the only person whose status is like above his like she can her demands outweigh his demands in terms of of the play like entertainment yeah yeah because she's the lead and he's like he's the lead shamisen player but obviously people are she, coming to see her her yeah not him yeah um she she's a little she's a little sussy she's a little sussy <laughs> and uh she causes some shenanigans to happen that end up involving a cat and, and a mysterious a, a mysterious shamisen yep yep and there's some pretty cool pra- practical effects uh, yeah i love practical effects in yes. old movies yes the way they figured out mm-hmm. how to do things that even now in my opinion look better yep. than a lot of the things that we can do with computer generated graphics yes yes uh, like it's so cool to me it's, it's so cool to me the way that they like layered film over itself mm-hmm. and like like did different kinds of like like angling and like mirror tricks and i'm not saying that all of this is in this movie but like i just like oh my gosh it's so cool it's good it's good so definitely go check this out there will be a link in the description um did you have anything else you wanted to say no okay i don't think so if you're watching this on youtube uh we also are on spotify again we apologize for you know it was just the fall orgasm and Yu-Gi-Oh! They just <laughs> co- coalesced. Also, sorry if the audio is crap, but we just were not going to sit in the closet today. Absolutely like, it just not. wasn't. It's... You can't make us. <laughs> we're, we're not going back in there. <laughs> so, uh, we hope everything is good and you're doing great. Yeah, I hope if you needed to hear that, I hope you heard that. And, and oh, emoji? Yes. Um, Which one? Uh, oh. A cat? Uh, yeah. No, that's too obvious. Guitar. The guitar. Guitar. Because <laughs> guitar, guitar. I don't think there's a shamisen. A if there's a shamisen, put that motherfucker in there. Also, okay, just complete random aside. I'm not calling anyone out, but I definitely was watching, because this is relevant because of shamisens, trust me. Okay. Um, I was watching some, a couple weeks ago, people opening Darkwing Blast, uh-huh. and there is a there is a cat playing a shamisen in it, and I was like, that is awesome. I love that. I want that. Yeah. But somebody pulled it, and and its name is um, Shamisen Samsara Sorrow Cat, mm-hmm. and somebody pulled it and was like, oh, it's got a guitar, or no, it's not a guitar. I don't know what that thing is called, but you know, it's that 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 Japanese three string stringed instrument, <laughs> and it's like it was in the name. <laughs> It's just pure. It made me, it was, yeah. It's just pure. It made me smile. Yeah. So put a cat or a guitar. I, put both. Guitar. Yeah. Put both. In the comments. Both. If you want. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy Halloween. Wait, is this going on? No, there's one more week till Halloween. Don't enjoy Halloween yet. I mean, always enjoy Halloween. I mean, yeah. 